I paint because it makes me feel free. I love the creative process and my main medium is acrylic paints. Welcome to my studio. I'm always asked what inspires me. I think a better question would be, what doesn't inspire me? Every day I'm constantly looking to music, hip hop, black girl magic, the cosmos, galaxies, astrology, literally everything. But these are just a few things that inspire my paintings. I look forward for you to learning more about my work. I love Rick and Morty, hiking with my husband, kale chips, and dancing. You'll see frequent twerk team <laughs> dance breaks throughout my videos because deep down, I'm an undercover rapper. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Well, <laughs> I have a new studio. It is probably like a solid double the size. It might even be more than double the size of my previous studio. This has been my biggest studio ever in uh, my six year painting career. Um, so I'm just super excited. I'm excited to bring y'all along on the journey. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but I know what I do want it to look like is creativity, artistry, mastery. I'm I'm here for it. Like let's get it and let's go hard. Um, let's let's make history. So that's the goal this year. Um, but first it starts with me getting this damn studio together. Old paint. I am so grateful that I have three big windows that let in so much natural light. This is the beautiful handcrafted paint caddy that my friend Carolyn Hitt made me. She's right here in Seattle. Got a few of my paints organized on the caddy, but it is still a work in progress. That's gonna be the sitting area soon. <laughs> One day. Let's get a like for my air plants up there. We got the pothos, the green queen coming through. So we got some storage started. That's where all of my smaller pieces are gonna be. The hubby Andy was helping me repair this wall. So there were these um, white beams that were in there. And when we took them out, it ripped the wall a little bit. So just repairing the drywall. I was one of the teaching artists for Seattle Art Museum during the Jeffrey Gibson exhibition. Absolutely amazing show. Um, I was super inspired by his use of fabric and music, since music is one of my huge inspirations. One of the projects that I um, encouraged the participants to do was to write their favorite music lyrics on these pieces of fabric. And then we made this collaborative kind of curtain mural during the Seattle Art Museum remix event in 2019. I would love to have a solo exhibition at Seattle Art Museum one day. So I'm keeping this fabric. One is inspiration for me to keep going as an artist so that I can get to that point of Jeffrey Gibson and Kahinde Wiley. Um, but also just because it's absolutely beautiful and they were gonna scrap it. So I'm like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I love using every single color of the rainbow in my paintings. So I decided to display the fabric from the Jeffrey Gibson exhibition in this scattered rainbow pattern for a little bit of decor around the studio.
I'm going for a little bit of a boho chic hip hop vibe. Similar to the title of one of my pants. I would call this style trap conscious. Hey, get it best friend. That's my best friend. I paint pretty large, so instead of using an easel, I actually staple the unstretched canvas to the wall, and then I go from there. Um, that was another reason why I needed to remove those white beams in my new studio. So right here, I'm just sanding the wall from the drywall that we patched up and getting it ready so that we can have some 10 foot paintings. 10 foot, 10 feet? Y'all know what I mean. Drink more water. Or you might die. This is the entryway to my studio. And this is where my gallery wall will be. The smaller pieces will be displayed on the wall that I'm currently painting. And then on the other side, my bigger pieces will be there. Now that the wall is all patched up, that was too high, okay. Now that the wall, <laughs> Now that the wall is all patched up and painted, I can now hang my big pieces on that back wall. And I have this storage shelf that will house my smaller pieces, quote unquote smaller, because these are still fairly large, uh, with some of the biggest ones being 48 inches on the longest side, and some of the smaller ones being around 24 inches on the longest side. Twenty twenty is the year to make it happen. All right, y'all. It's time for me to clean. But yeah, welcome to my channel. This is what we're gonna be doing. Hey, let's do it. Let's get it. I'm here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. 